What's a poppin' Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this Marasaka, baby. Join me as I read you, you all's lives. You already know I love you. We about to be lighting the fuck up, smoking up, talking up, drinking up, and reading these motherfucking cards. So listen, if your ass is sensitive, go on and click the fuck on off. I do not have time to be dealing with the fuckery. No, I don't. Okay. Now, with that being said, you can text me at 281-932-3218 if you need to get a personal reading from me. All of the information is in the description box. Check out my GoFundMe. You guys have been helping your girl feed her motherfucking kids, buy my insulin, okay? Funding your motherfucking girl because uh, YouTube ain't doing it, okay? Now, also check out, check out my patreon i've been posting on there i've been very persistent and i want to give a special thank you to those who have joined the membership on youtube i'm going to try and post some things on there more often but listen your girl ain't gonna lie to you okay i'm gonna lie to you now stay tuned because i will be posting um me and my brother me and my motherfucking twin <laughs> Get ready for a long conversation, information. Now, I will be posting about these hoes and these bitches. It ain't going to be just no gripe on um, Patreon, but I will be saying all the things that I've been wanting to say, names and all that motherfucking shit, because y'all know I will bring you the motherfucking tea, bitch. Okay? All the shit on tarot land. Now, with that being said, I will be talking about your partner, your person, your shoulda, woulda, couldas, have nots, maybes, possibly's, whatever the case may be. If your ass is sensitive, gonna click the fuck on off, baby. So let's see what's going down for all of my Pisces spirit. You are welcome into this Piscean reading, baby. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods, baby. Okay, let me tell y'all what y'all what I'm smoking on as I uh, tell you about the pre-shuffle that I seen. Somebody's a chaser, somebody's runner. This is a karmatic relationship, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Now, let me look up karmatic relationship because I think some people got this motherfucking shit twisted. We gonna get a few, uh, this is Grizzly Pine premium cannabis this is uh lemon marciano i believe that it is a hybrid yeah hybrid and then i bought one other thing because i need this shit for my sanity for all these motherfucking bitches in this hole okay it ain't just for me it's for everybody okay so somebody is watching you they're looking they're stalking we are going to see who's spying on you as well but i wanted to get just a few of their feelings now before i do that like i said it's a karmatic relationship or somebody could be codependent on a relationship that's running away from a situation for sure what i did see in the smoke was it looked like uh something was cascading or there could have bitch i don't know if you're using cascade for a dishwasher or what but there is something that's cascading um, I don't know down or up or whatever the case may be, but I'm about to look up um, I am go I'm gonna have to look up karmatic relationships because I think that some people have twin flame and karmatic relationships all kind of twisted and flipped But you know, you're entitled to your opinion. So let me go ahead car medic Relationships some somebody is welcoming new love as well, too so this could be you pisces um but i'm also getting somebody's addicted or is obsessed because that is the car that's here as far as codependent codependent obsession possession controlling and has a blog karmetic relationships let's look up the definition real quick because i don't know if this is an old ass energy or somebody new or somebody that you just met or um, but it says a karmatic relationship. Now, don't get all ADHD on you, girl. Because I'm going to read off the shit. And I'm going to uh, read these cards as well, too. But it says a karmatic relationship is that of intense, unstable, and damaging 
but can also provide opportunities for personal growth learning. Some can believe that karmic relationships are spiritual connections between people from the past lives who are brought together to resolve unfinished issues, teach important life lessons. Others may say karmic relationships are temporary soulmate relationships that help people learn lessons about love and partnership. Now that is karmic relationships. Bitch, that sound like trauma bonding to me. Sound like you done bound yourself together because you want to figure out how you're going to get through certain life lessons with this motherfucker and they may not just be the person for you. So car karma can go both ways. It can circulate up, down, around, uh, uh, behind you, okay? So it's saying that if you have unresolved unfinished business with someone from a past life whether y'all was the man or the woman or the woman and the man or the woman and the woman and next lifetime type shit like I told y'all in the other reading yesterday that there are certain things that may not be um, appropriate for you when you deal with this person or they may not be that motherfucker for you. you just going through a life lesson and a phase and shit like that. I don't know why this motherfucker won't stay lit, but y'all get what the fuck I'm saying. Y'all type it in the comments. Have you ever been in a karmic relationship based off of uh, what Google said? Have you ever met someone and you were just having to learn life lessons and shit with their motherfucking ass and you had to go through all little narcissistic demons and the dusties just to figure out that it was a karmic relationship and it was one-sided. And I feel like um, it should be a love part added into the karmic relationship, not just necessarily lessons. Love and sex, bitch. Okay. So some of you guys might be taking this into consideration. Uh oh, let me not let a titty pop out. Okay, they finally got hot in the mountains and shit. And bitch about to have world uh wardrobe malfunctions. So for some of you guys, you might be um understanding what the karma or the lesson of the relationship was, or what was the whole purpose to deal with the motherfucker and to deal with the fuck shit or to deal with the good shit. But karmic relationships and twin flames, they sound like they go they go in hand in hand to me. So somebody's obsessed. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wanting to date. All right, here we go. So some of you guys might be in relationships now. Or you might be forming some sort of bonds. Okay, but it better not be no motherfucking trauma bond. And I be getting sometimes trauma bond could come from... Um, being with a motherfucker for so long you know what i mean all right here we go it's getting misty up in this bitch follow keep up with your girl give it to me for my pisces what do they need to know about their feelings and then we're gonna see who's spying on you i think it's about due time all right give it to me for my pisces who's whose feelings are we about to pick up on all right, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Mirroring each other's self-image, relationship, reflect our runes and introspection. All right. Okay, so there is some sort of triggers here. You do have karmic relationship, lessons, letting go, and loving you. So somebody might have a hard time letting go and loving you. Like I was telling my brother, if somebody is not your motherfucking cheerleader, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? You not my main cheerleader, ho? You don't know all the steps and all the dances? Bitch, I don't need you. You just a problem and a motherfucking headache. Straight like that. I want y'all to definitely think about how motherfuckers be, uh, bitch, if you stop cheering for me, then it's time for you to move the fuck on. If you don't want to see me doing good, whether it be materialistic things, heartfelt shit, whatever your love language is, baby, you already know. They holding a grudge or there's a lot of lessons that they've had to go through and turmoil and you as well too. 
But some people be that karmic energy, they be numb because it's so one-sided. They don't even realize that they're learning a life lesson through the relationship or how to elevate and move on to the next phase and next level between each other. And I speak, I, I speak from experience and I speak from my parents and they were the best motherfuckers uh, on the other side of heaven. Okay. I literally was telling my brother uh, yesterday, I said, my parents, if they argued, that was in their bedroom. They didn't even bring it to the motherfucking table. And you would never know. I just remember one specific argument, one specific thing. And you could tell that they was not trying to put any type of trauma, relationship uh, uh, issues in my ears and in my consciousness. Okay, and to me, trauma bonding is you bonding with this motherfucker because y'all both do the same drugs. Or uh, you bonding with this motherfucker because y'all both trying to uh, 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 make shit uh, be better than the past. Okay, but people's past could catch up to them, all kind of shit. Now, this could be outside parties as well, too. Take it how it, re take it, how it resonates, bitch. And I really don't give a fuck if it doesn't. Give it to me for my Pisces. Yeah, I really think I was a little richer than a past lifetime. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just like I was telling my kids, listen, I popped up into uh, the dispensary and I could tell. Now, you know when certain people, it's just stereotypical type shit, right? Now, y'all know I can get down on the motherfucking voices and the acting. And you could tell when I walked into the dispensary. Now, don't get all ADHD on you, girl. But when I walked into the dispensary, you could tell that they was wondering, like, where the fuck... Did I told y'all I was in Get Out Town. So this motherfucker was trying to figure out where the fuck did I come from. Am I about to say, uh, CC, go get the lion? Or am, I, or am I about to be like, uh-uh, Shaniqua, I was trying to tell you that shit wasn't right. Okay, because that's just how it goes, girl. But guess what? Because you could tell... That they're like, what is this bitch here for? Is she hiking? Is this black woman hiking? Is she skiing? What is happening here? Do you hear me? You could tell that that man was expecting me to be like, uh-uh, I'm about to make me some bird fur coats up in this motherfucker. Where the grizzlies at? Okay. <laughs> Pisces, do you hear me? But I came in there just like myself and, you know, was like inquiring and curious, respectful all at once. And then you expect to give what you give in return. And Pisces, y'all that motherfucking mirror. So when somebody see you, they got to tighten it up, especially your verbiage, your language, the way that you look, how you carry yourself, how you treat your children, how you treat your animals. Okay. All right. Put some chocolate on in the algorithms. Give it to me for my Pisces. What do they need to know about? Karmatic relationships um, can take a toll on your body. So be careful who you connect with and your soulmates. And I'm, like I said, I'm speaking from experience. You have cassette. So outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head and healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. So some of you guys might be stopping the drinking, the sex and the drugging, the rock and rolling bitch and trying a uh, country. I don't know. But y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. It's like for me, I told y'all it ain't no more Starbucks. Bitch, go get this one dollar coffee or I'm going to press that shit my motherfucking self. And be satisfied. Oh! Somebody want to talk to you. Could be a whole bunch of talking going on as well, too. That is at the bottom of the deck. All right, keep up with your girl now. So interested, conversating more, awaited messages, arrives, texts, calls, emails, and hovering. So you about to have somebody on your motherfucking line. 
What's this about, spirit? You have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier. Okay, also mad, so somebody's hiding something, gaslighting shit. Okay, not showing true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, and delude, and also gaslight. Now, y'all know when I stumble upon a word, I'm going to enunciate that bitch to perfection, okay? I'm tired of uh, listening to motherfuckers who their dictation is just all the way off. If someone corrects me, I'll correct myself as well. Thank you. Okay. Addiction is at the bottom of the deck. So like I said, somebody is quitting some old habits. Dropping that motherfucking bitch. This could be going cold turkey. Pisces, this could be for you. Give it to me for my Pisces. What else I need to know about? Let's get it. Photograph. Looking at your photos. Missing nostalgia. Making new memories. Now this card seems to always come out. Okay, so it's something about photographs, videos, somebody going through some old memory, old memory files, I shoulda, woulda, couldas about you. All right, engagement ring and seduction. Ooh, now I put this on Patreon. I was like, what kind of cards is coming out now? This is crazy. Okay, some underground railroad cards coming out. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion and union also attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation and third party interference all right give it to me for my pisces spirit oh we got one falling out self-indulgence focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work and self-appreciation so somebody likes your spirits okay and you appreciate your motherfucking self you got soulmate energy here soul connection partnership agreement and soul contracts all right, so something was meant to be together, but there could be something where somebody is, like I said, that chaser and that runner. Okay, fear of abandonment issues, runner and codependency relationships, fear of intimacy, and listening to ego. Okay, give it to me for my Pisces spirit. Give it to me for my Pisces hammer sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive and persistent and working on it give it to me for my pisces you also have hand of cards taking a chance risk being strategic options and not showing hands so it's something that they're hiding here whether it be facial expressions how they truly feel about you whatever it is that they're fantasizing about all right also the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissistic one-sided relationship and love bombing what they love bombing about, spirit. And then we're going to get some cards. Not enough. Separation. Feeling frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fear. And ego issues and jealousy. Also, whatever the separation is, somebody is definitely thinking about you and yearning for you. Or they might feel backstabbed. Heartbreak. Pain. Separation. Deception. And shocking attack. What's this deception here for, spirit? Could be dealing with a fire sign and also a fucking weirdo. And blow up. What's this blow up about? You have dancers and pretend. Oh. So somebody got some sort of pretend beef or they feeling some type of way about pretending how their true feelings are, or that mask. Something about to fall out of their ass and fall off. All right, large crowd. Also, details. So you could be very descriptive, or you might be finding out some details about this person. All right, here we go. Good fortune is how they feel about you in secret society. Okay, so they feel like you're a part of something, or they don't know how the fuck you're doing it, or there's something that's secretly behind you, or secretly, uh, 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 uh. Bitch, you got good fortune and shit. Okay, so I don't know if they feel like you a cash cow. You also have wild card. This could be many different things. Okay, you got to read in between the lines, the squiggly lines, the circles and shit. What's this about, spirit? System crash and also scapegoat. 
an airplane. Then we have city. Might be something happening with the airplane. Bando and chill and also weak link. Oh shit, we got transformer and stalk you. All right, let's move into it. Let's get to it. Give it to me for my Pisces. Why are they stalking Pisces? Who's spying on Pisces? You have hands and feet, so definitely could be another Pisces, or this could be a possible Gemini. I'm also getting Aquarian energy here and Scorpio. Give me some more, Spirit. Sex magic. Damn, there's that stalk you again, so somebody is getting the urges. Okay, and y'all know what urges means. That means, bitch, I'm about to hop in this back seat, and we're going to get to it. Okay. Whether it be finger in the base, having a conversation, bitch, I'm urging uh, whoever this is, they having some serious uh, impulsive decisions that they got to make. All right, who's talking Pisces? You have contracts. Also, fire magic. So if there was some sort of cycle that was completely over, this person is going back trying to see and read in between the fine print of why it's over. All right, here we go. Showtime. So you either putting on a show, it could be the theatrics. Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. Okay, pick and choose and also business. So somebody's watching you and then little brokey. And you have takeover here. Give it to me for my Pisces. I feel like some of you guys could be changing money by the increments or um once a day or week or something like that or habitual habits all right here we go who's spying on pisces spiteful god damn <laughs> and mistake so they fucking up they made a mistake also you know the real them it was in before my Pisces child. Hood magic. And too many secrets. So they want to see if your secrets are going to be revealed. But you have somebody who's really undercover. Like got surveillance on you. For real, for real. They hiding in the bush type shit. Digging in your trash cans. Alright. Looking at your phone while you in the shower. So they spiteful. Clarify this spirit. Clarify this for your girl. We got blacklisted. Okay, also switching accounts. Definitely could be dealing with a water sign here. All right, social media. So they stalking your social media, Pisces? And cult, also finesse. An anti-hero, high adrenaline. Somebody's obsessed here. Stalking your social media. Yeah, black them out and embarrassed. So they made a mistake. They done fucked up. That's why they salty. Okay, whatever this cult-like following is, bay, 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 bay. You also have super craft here. So this could be your magic and your sorcery, bitch. All right, Pisces. All right. Show up and show out. They also feel out charmed or something by you or they feel like you way too charming or, you know, it's some people who born without charm. All right, give it to me for my Pisces. Who they talking about, child? Give it to me for my Pisces. All right, two of pentacles. This could be a mother, brother, or a childhood love or something like that, or your first, or uh, somebody from your past. Now, y'all know motherfuckers get to get on that internet. They don't know how to act. Switching accounts. Yeah, I'm also getting some sort of teeter-totter effect or something like that. Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. Who is this and why are they spying? Magician energy and also high priestess. So they seeing some sort of sorcery here. This is some high-grade magic, baby. This is some top-tier magic, okay? They want to figure out how to fuck you know shit before it comes to you or how you discover certain things and how your curiosity and your spirit guides was combined together. Give it to me for my Pisces. 
You also have the Ten of Swords, something that was over that they just bored and ain't doing a motherfucking thing about it, okay? This could be some sort of blonde woman or a man or something like that or somebody definitely from your past is spying on you. This could be somebody's ghost past, a Christmas past, an exes that's been watching you that then got you entangled into the bullshit. And here it is, you just innocent little old puppy. So whoever this is, they trying to look up your name, discover who you are to them, how many hearts and likes, how long y'all been together, how long you haven't been together. Somebody trying to uh, 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 fit in some puzzle pieces that don't fit. Okay. And y'all know not everybody's light bulb screwed the fuck in. Give it to me for my Pisces. Who's spying on my Pisces? Oh, three of wands here. All right, here we go. This could be a third-party situation or somebody that was pushed back and left behind. The ancestors say, go ahead, my child. You go for it. We got this motherfucker in the back. Give it to me for my Pisces spirit. Oh, Ace of Pentacles and also Strength. So this definitely could be somebody pocket watching. Could be a possible Leo here as well, too, or trying to figure out how the fuck you did this shit is what I'm getting. Somebody feels pushed away with the Nine of Swords and also the Nine of Wands. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this is a karmatic relationship where somebody always tries to leave you second guessing or something like that. But moon energy here and also justice could be a possible Libra. And another Pisces, but they heartbroken. Okay, or something that's painful that they see. Are they in pain of jealousy or something like that? It's very possible. All right, Pisces, I love you guys oh so much. Make sure you guys check out my Patreon account and also my GoFundMe page. Get a personal reading as well, too. Support your girl any way motherfucking possible unless it's just a heart or a like. All of it counts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.